Pakistan's president stepped down Sunday after finishing his five-year term, and that might be what he's most remembered for. Asif Ali Zardari is the first president in the history of Pakistani democracy to be democratically elected, serve his full term, and then step down. That would sound fairly mundane in the West, but no president in Pakistan's last six decades has managed it. And it's especially impressive considering how Zardari got the office in the first place. Zardari is the widower of former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto, who was assassinated while running for president in 2007. Zardari then rode a wave of support and sympathy into office, so he was widely viewed as a political novice, without the clout or the skills of his wife. What's more, corruption allegations followed Zardari into office and still plague him today. He spent most of his term battling the courts over the charges. But he's also credited with helping forward Pakistani democracy, both for a successful term and his role in redefining his office. Because executive power in Pakistan rests with a prime minister, the office of the president is a largely ceremonial one, and that's partly due to Zardari himself. In 2010, he oversaw passage of the country's 18th constitutional amendment, which took away much of the power previous President Pervez Musharraf had acquired during his rule. The amendment was seen as progress for democratic government. Maybe that's why Pakistan's Dawn newspaper labeled Zardari, quote, a mixed bag, with one writer calling him the most vilified, criticized, unpopular, and defamed politician in the history of Pakistan, and another calling him one of our most remarkable and astute presidents ever. As for what's next for Zardari, he told GOTV he has no interest in becoming prime minister and will instead focus on reorganizing the Pakistan People's Party, which lost a major election in May. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.